Hello, and welcome to episode 2 of 3 Minutes or Less. Now, as you may have noticed, I've adopted a new animation style for this episode, so please, let me know what you think so I can keep improving. Last episode, we discussed the founding of the Roman Kingdom and the reign of Romulus. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the reign of the second mystical king of Rome, Numa Pompilius. Of Sabine birth, Numa was an outsider in the city. He was a deeply religious man. He is said to have been born to a man named Pomponius on the day of Rome's founding. After the death of Romulus, there was what is known as an interregnum for one year. This means that the Senate took authority until the next king could be appointed. An election was held by the Senate after a conflict between the Romans and the Sabines, which saw a compromise reached to elect a Sabine king. This election saw Numa elected, and then saw him deny the crown until he was prodded by the people to accept it. While Romulus was a warmonger, Numa was a man of peace and religion. His reign marked an era of peace for Rome, such as the Romans would very rarely enjoy, and never enjoy again in such longevity until the reign of Augustus. Numa is credited with the construction of the Temple of Janus, where the doors were to remain open in times of war and closed in times of peace. In the entirety of Numa's reign, the doors were never opened. One of my favorite legends involving Numa is that during a horrible plague, a brass shield fell from the sky as a gift from the god Jupiter to Rome to signify his protection over them. Numa had 11 copies of the shield made. Numa is also credited with the establishment of the office of Pontifex Maximus, a title still held by the Pope today. He is also credited with the introduction of January and February as implemented during one of his many calendar reforms. The majority of religious and peacetime traditions in ancient Rome can be attributed to King Numa in stark contrast to the warlike nature of Romulus. Just as the Romans created the myth of Romulus to explain their warring nature, they created the myth of Numa to explain their laws and traditions. Next episode, we will discuss the reign of Tullus Hostilius, where the personalities of Numa and Romulus meet to explain the Romans' combined warring and religious nature. If you enjoyed this, Please comment, rate, subscribe, like the video please, it really helps out. Thank you.